Hello, everybody. Uh, I introduce myself. I'm Dieter Nussler, vice chair, uh, vice president, sorry, not vice chair. This time I'm, I'm the chair of the, the following two sessions where we will learn uh, something about the latest developments uh, for in our host country, France. Um, I think everybody knows that France is a, a country which is uh, often and regularly affected by forest fires, which may uh, increase in frequency and, and also in the consequences due to the global warming we have to face. And, and because of that, it's not surprising that the French fire service has a great deal of experience uh, in fighting uh, the fires, uh, what they call the wildfires. Um, I think normally we will we'll, uh, hear about these fires when, when we see this in the response phases. But I think it's also important to think about what, has, what can be done to prevent the fires in the prevention phase and also what shall we do in the recovery phase. Uh, our speaker, just I want to pronounce your name correctly, Colonel Pierre Bipois will speak about the French strategy to protect natural areas against fire, uh, wildfires. Pierre is the deputy chief of uh, department in the fire and rescue service of Broche du Rhône. Pierre, you have the floor. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, uh, let me please introduce uh, myself. Uh, I am Pierre Bepois, as you said. Your pronunciation was good. And uh, I am currently working uh, as a deputy chief of department at the Bouche du Rhône Fire and Rescue Service. I am honored to represent today my chief of department, Le Contrôleur Général Grégory Allion, who is also uh, the president of uh, the French uh, Firefighter Federation. Uh, at this EENA uh, conference, I will endeavor to uh, present to you the French uh, strategy to protect uh, natural areas uh, against uh, wildfires. In the first time, it seems to me uh, important to give you some uh, references about the operational and uh, administrative organization uh, of the Fire and Rescue Service of bouche du rhone uh, Our department is composed of 5,400 uh, volunteer firefighters, 1,300 professional firefighters, and uh, 440 administrative agents. Our truck uh, and car fleet uh, totals approximately 1,500 vehicles, including 350 uh, dedicated to uh, forest firefighting, 220 uh, to uh, structure fires, 140 ambulances uh, for emergency assistance, and uh, 740 various uh, vehicles, uh, such as boats, common posts, uh, and so on. 62 uh, fur houses mesh uh, the uh, county territory, excepted Marseille, for a uh, historic reason. We tackle uh, an average of 140,000 emergency runs per year. And uh, finally, our annual budget is of 210 million euros, uh, supported by the County Council of bouche du rhone the Metropolis of Aix-Marseille-Provence, and the county cities accepted uh, Marseille. In this presentation, I will uh, articulate my uh, speech into four parts uh, organized in a chronological uh, manner. First, we'll speak about preventing uh, wildfires. Then uh, we'll deal with the fire development management at an early stage. Next, how we limit catastrophic evolutions of wildfires. And finally, uh, our way to uh, rehabilitate uh, burnt uh, areas. In matter of wildfire prevention, uh, we work on four uh, fields. 
Uh, first, we uh, actively plan land use with the maintenance of 1,050 miles of firebreak trucks, the location of 550 water tanks, and a good forest management with effective landscaping. The maintenance of firebreak trucks is based on the clearing of brush uh, on each side of the trail and uh, the landscaping is carried out in collaboration with the managers of the natural parks, using in particular the technique of prescribed burning. For instance, on the photo at the top left, you can observe a water tank uh, exclusively reserved for the fight against uh, forest fires. Top right, is uh, an illustration of a maintained firebreak truck with a gate access. These trucks serve both as a break uh, in the continuity uh, of vegetation and access uh, within uh, the forest massif uh, for land-based uh, firefighting uh, resources. The bottom photo, finally, is a kind of map that we use uh, to study the relief the type of vegetation concerned, the access roads, uh, the water points, and many other useful information uh, for the organization of uh, a firefighting sector. Secondly, we uh, regularly uh, remind the French legal requirement for landowners uh, to clear vegetation around their property. This uh, represents a major challenge for uh, the Fire and Rescue Service in so far as the application of these measures uh, is very heterogeneous. According to the territories and the owners, despite uh, their mandatory uh, nature and the investment uh, of the mayors in this matter. We repeat to the public uh, that in case of wildfire, we can't put a fire truck uh, to protect each house. This photo uh, behind me is a good illustration uh, of the importance of complying uh, with legal brush clearance obligations. Indeed, we can uh, clearly see that the space between the habitats and the vegetation drastically reduces the risk of the fire spreading even though, unfortunately, it is not uh, always uh, respected, as we can uh, notice on the right side of the picture. Thirdly, we uh, investigate uh, each fire cause so as to determine its origin, human or natural, its characteristics, uh, recklessness or malice, and its development uh, in order to adapt our uh, prevention messages and constantly improve our operational procedures. This approach uh, is led with uh, police forces, of course, and the French National Forest uh, Office. In 90% uh, of cases, humans are uh, the cause of fires in France. Here is a, a canine team uh, from the Bouche du Rhône Farm Rescue Service uh, specialized in the search for fire accelerating uh, products. This pair, made up of a dog and its uh, master, uh, is accompanied by uh, an agent from the National Forestry Office uh, for the investigation. Police forces are also present, uh, considering that they remain competent uh, on justice matter. Firefighters are uh, at their disposal uh, as technical advisors uh, in this case. Finally, we uh, daily use uh, weather forecast and wildfire analysis uh, to assess the level of risk. From this uh, assessment, we can dimension and anticipate the operational response needed in terms of firefighter and material uh, resources. This process is uh, generally 
uh, undertaken the day before uh, at the end of the afternoon uh, on the basis of data from Meteo France and the National Forestry uh, Office published daily on the internet. On these maps, uh, you can see an assessment of uh, the level of uh, forest fire risk regarding both weather conditions and the level of uh, vegetation drought. The map on the left is uh, specific to the forest massifs of the bouches du County, and the one on the right reflects the level of risk by zone dividing the territory of each county in the south of France. Uh, it means nine for uh, the bouches du uh, County, for instance. With uh, 222,000 acres of uh, forest, its Mediterranean uh, climate, and many habitats and natural space interfaces, the county of Bouches-du-Rhône is one of the most exposed in France to the risk of wildfires. That's why managing fire development at an early stage uh, is a primary concern for first emergency responders. It uh, relies on citizen alerts, uh, of course, thanks to our European Emergency Number 112, but also on 26 lookouts distributed in forest areas of the county. All those information are uh, collected at the 112 calling center and dealt by a specific wildfire command post. This uh, tactical bubble uh, is armed in intense services with the summer, with firefighters, sorry, during the summer, uh, as well as forest, uh, county, and uh, national uh, agents. The French doctrine uh, to uh, fight wildfires is based on two fundamental principles. The first one is a priority to tackle incipient fires. And a second one is striking quickly and hard. To achieve this, as I have previously told you, uh, according to the level of wildfire risk, we deploy a preventive network of firefighting groups, as you can see on the map on the, on the left of the, of the slide. Uh, firefighting groups on the ground, in addition to the staff and equipment already available uh, in firehouses. For instance, in summer uh, high-risk uh, periods, we're able to double our operational uh, capacities so as to respond to many simultaneous incipient fires. Some of the partners uh, contribute uh, also uh, to the surveillance of forest areas such as municipal fire committees and uh, forest uh, county agents. In case of incipient fire, they are likely to intervene uh, as first responders, but with a limited action uh, in time. These combined actions lead uh, to the result of 95% of fires extinguished uh, before uh, reaching an area uh, of 12 acres, 5 hectares uh, in French. <clears throat> in the event of a uh, fire uh, taking on a larger, uh, larger uh, proportion, sorry, the French response strategy is based uh, on a combined action of cutting fuel and massive attack. This uh, operational doctrine uh, results from the history and the experience acquired uh, by the different county fund rescue services in the south of France uh, in particular. It is uh, also uh, transcribed uh, in the literature produced by our General Directorate for Civil Safety and Crisis Management through guides uh, of doctrine and operational uh, techniques. 
To accomplish the first action of cutting fuel, we rely on a mechanical action of forestry uh, to separate uh, different combustible areas uh, and then create barriers uh, to the fire. Another uh, method uh, consists of using tactical burnings uh, to both deprive the fire of fuel and thwart its momentum uh, to uh, stop it. It is uh, specified uh, here that this last technique is exclusively implemented uh, by a group of specialists who act under the direct authority uh, of the department chief for any ignition during wildfires. The massive attack is uh, considered through a three-dimensional approach with uh, land and air assets. The operational management and uh, command of land resources is ensured by uh, sector heads on uh, each side of the fire development, right and, life, uh, right, sorry, and left side, uh, as well as the front. Operational management and command of air resources uh, are delegated by the incident commander to a liaison officer called hiro officer. With us uh, have conventional means of uh, forest for fighting with uh, different water capacities, 4,000, 6,000, 13,000 liters, but also uh, specialized groups such as, such as uh, forestry uh, support, tactical burning, and uh, protection of retarding products. In the air, we can count on uh, local air resources for example, in the Bouches du Rhône uh, County, uh, we rent up to four uh, water bombing helicopters uh, during the summer season. We have also uh, a national air fleet uh, of one AV water bombing helicopter, six retarding product uh, bombing aircraft, and finally, 12 water bombing aircraft, as you can uh, see on the slide. Uh, at, the, at the bottom of the slide. It is important to specify that all land and uh, air actions are coordinated and under the authority of a unique incident commander with the support of commandment devices and the application of a national operational management methodology. These tools and this operational procedure uh, enable us to organize the site of fur fighting. We have uh, indeed several uh, command posts, each uh, including uh, an anticipation function. Their role uh, are to uh, collect operational information on the ground, identify and manage uh, resources, coordinate and initiate operational actions, establish and organize radio communications. Inter-services uh, crisis management units are also among our equipment uh, and their spaces dedicated to uh, a collaborative work with uh, crisis partners. Mobile uh, mapping uh, allows us to draw fire maps in a uh, zero frame and uh, are uh, projected on screen. These maps are therefore a good means of communication uh, with the heads of sector and uh, the various authorities during uh, situation updates which are uh, regularly made. All these uh, tactical maps can be shared from the fire ground to uh, county, zonal, and even national operation centers for timely situational awareness. They also allow us uh, to have a traceability of events uh, for feedback, training, and even legal uh, considerations, uh, sometimes if uh, necessary. 
Rehabilitation of burnt areas uh, aims to both reprocess burnt wood and allow uh, regrowth of trees. Burnt woods are cut uh, and may be sold or recycled. And uh, in order to fix the ground and allow the regrowth of trees, fascines are put in place. Fascines uh, consist of a bundle of trunks used uh, to reinforce the slopes of land and uh, thus reduce natural erosion. To conclude uh, this uh, presentation, it is appropriate to uh, study the effects over time of this operational doctrine uh, with regard to the natural and anthropogenic uh, parameters uh, of influence. We can uh, thus see on the map on the left uh, of the screen that a forest fire in the Marseille Cassis uh, sector with almost the same uh, geographical origin covered 10 times less area between 1990 and 2016, mainly thanks to uh, land use planning. Conversely, a wildfire that broke out on the Blue Coast uh, tripled in area between 1989 and 2020 uh, due to agricultural land abandonment, urban sprawl, and climate change. Those final factors are of primary concerns for uh, firefighters linked with the uh, environment protection, and that's why we're used to call us climate soldiers or life soldiers uh, today in France. Thank you for listening, and I wish you uh, a great day for all of you. Yeah, thank you, Pierre. Um, is there a question from the audience with a little bit over time? If uh, I cannot see any hand. I, I saw that you uh, use helicopter and fixed wings. To my understanding, I, I, I associated only the fixed wings water bombing with this uh, forest fire attack. So what, where do you see the difference be, or the tactical advantages of helicopters versus the fixed wings water bombing? Actually, we have, uh, as I said, helicopters uh, to uh, project water on the fires, uh, effectively. But we have also a uh, helicopter uh, so as to have an overview of, of the fire and then to uh, uh, appreciate in, in uh, uh, best conditions the fire and so as to be able to make the, the, the best decisions in terms of uh, commanding. You know what I mean? Uh, so so the, the, the tactical advantage is, is the helicopter which stay on the place and you can have the overview exactly. rather than the bombing, uh, which is the, the capacity of water capacity. Can we have carry. both. We have both. We have uh, uh, some water uh, bombing uh, helicopters uh, that are very uh, rapid, you know, in terms of action. Uh, and we have aircraft, water bombing aircraft uh, that have uh, a much more... Uh, capacity of uh, water projection. But we have also a helicopter of uh, commandment helicopter, so, uh, uh, so as to, to have a, a best overview of the fire. Okay. Merci bien. My yeah. pleasure. Okay. Thank you very much.